Thanks for tuning in. To show our appreciation, we wanted to give you a special hookup for this product. Be sure to check the description for a link and a code. Thanks, y'all. What's up, y'all? Matt Lock here, back at the Electrify Warehouse. And we here at Electrify, we want you to be informed when you buy an e-mobility product about everything that goes into buying an e-mobility product, which is why we are gonna show you what to expect when your package comes. We're talking unboxing, putting it together, figuring out what parts do what, reading the instruction manual, finding the right language to read it in in the first place. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you wanna see me ride it around, that's gonna be in another video. So this is just the unboxing. So go find that video if you wanna see how it performs. But for now, we're just gonna unbox this thing. So wish me luck. All right, let's see how much work I actually have to do here. Seems to be fairly assembled already. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at those tires. So it's not as assembled as I hoped it would be, but uh, I'm gonna learn something about putting it together. And more importantly, so are you, because you're gonna have to deal with the same thing if you buy this thing, so. Oh God, where are my friends? Make sure we don't get caught. Ooh, okay. Box. We'll open that in a second. Okay. Nice and easy. There it is. A very non-assembled bike. We got two parts. The bike, all squished together in a nice little package-friendly way, and this box. I don't know what's in it yet, so I'm gonna open that first, and hopefully there's an instruction manual inside because I know I need all the help I can get. All right, we got pedals. That's important. It's where your feet go, I think. Here we go. Ride rad. Will do. Prop the bike on the kickstand and carefully remove the packaging material protecting the bike frame and components. <sighs> all right, so I got all the crap taken off of it and it actually looks like a bike now, which is good. And luckily there's very few parts. We got the bike frame itself, the front tire, and then the handlebars are actually attached by the wires. We just got to clamp that on there. Um, there's also, keep an eye out if you do get one of these, the keys were attached to the wires of the handlebars. So handlebars went on first. That was pretty easy. It comes with a little uh, metal clamp in the box right here. So this comes with the hardware all there. Easy peasy. And you just take it clamp the handlebar in like that, tighten it with an Allen wrench, easy as pie. Speaking of Allen wrenches, got your little tool kit here. And it's gonna come with everything you need. So it's got screwdriver, bunch of wrenches of different sizes, handful of Allen wrenches. Just gonna get the first one started and hopefully that'll hold it. The rad part of the rad bike name is not just empty words. This does look like a BMX biker you know, kind of motocross vehicle. So it's definitely got that street cred look that I so desire. Handlebars on there nice and tight. I kind of just guessed at the angle, but luckily it's easy to take on and off. So if you want the angle more forward or back or something, then you can just loosen them up and change it real quick. So that's cool. Step two complete. Step three, install the pedals. Locate the pedal. Pedals located. Now I am to identify which is right and which is left. Luckily, they're both color-coded and letter-coded for people like me. I think that's in, I think it, I don't think it's getting any tighter. I think it just has some spin to it. I like how there's these big spikes on here too. Again, fitting with the rad theme and also it's gonna grip your shoes real nice. The left pedal is reverse threaded and tightens counterclockwise. Um, that makes sense. Threading it in counterclockwise, it feels like bizarro world. There we go. Yeah, so it can spin independently, but I do need to torque it down a bit right here. So lefty tighty. There we go. Now that's not moving. Let's do the same thing for the right. There we go. Pedal can spin, but it's not coming out. Cool. Step three complete. Step four, inflate tires. We did that off camera because the compressor is very loud. Step five, adjust the headlight angle. 
you got the all right so i got the light plugged in here and then it looks like it just slides in right here i gotta take this off and then clamp it down and then it'll be right there in the front and if i had friends this would be a good time to use them bingo bango bongo let's move on to step six Check the front wheel quick release. Ensure front wheel is fully seated in the front fork dropouts and that the quick release is fully and properly secured. The front wheel uh, gave me a little trouble at first. I had no idea what I was doing. I had to go to the uh, radpowerbikes.com slash help to find their assembly video so I could see exactly how they did it because the instruction manual wasn't uh, detailed enough. So the tire goes in this way with the brake pad on the right side so that it can slide in to the little brake pad right, or the little brake uh, mechanism right here. Once it's in, we're gonna take our handy dandy little thingy thing, pop it in like that, easy as pie. I plugged it in at the end to charge it and noticed that the battery already had some charge in it, so I could probably take it out now, but I'm gonna let it get a bit more juice first. There's actual ignition. You turn the ignition off to charge it and then you have to turn it on with the key and then turn the power on with the handlebar switch. So it's kind of a two-step process. That's the Rad Runner. If you got a utility case, this bike can probably solve it. So pretty positive on the Rad Runner. Thanks for watching you guys. And I will see you next time when I have a new e-mobility product to look at. See ya. If you want to purchase this product and get a hookup from us, be sure to check the description for a link and a code down below. Help us keep these videos going by leaving a like, leaving a comment, and of course, subscribing to our channel. Thanks, y'all.